across the country, from archive to archive, there are abundant examples of the use of extraordinary levels of violence to get people to do things that were, they weren't very keen on doing. People were drenched in urine. They were covered in excrement. They were buried alive, something that happened quite a lot in Hunan province. They were branded with tools. They had their noses chopped off, their ears lopped off. Levels of violence that one can only explain by looking at what exactly happened during this period. Now, what Mao had in mind with this great leap forward is to create a, a giant army to transform every man and every woman into some sort of soldier in a giant army with brigades, with, with commanders, with small armies that could tackle one task after the other in a giant continuous revolution. And by doing that, he herded people in the countryside in giant collectives called people's communes. And before you know it, everything was collectivized. People had their land taken away from them. It was only distributed to them a, a few years earlier. The houses were taken away. The cattle vanished. The tools were collectivized. Very little remained. The food, most importantly, was distributed by the spoonful in collective canteens according to merit. So before you know it, Every single incentive to actually work is being stripped away from ordinary villagers who know very well that even if they grow the grain, the grain will be procured by the state. Even if they work in the fields in the evening, they will get a mere greenish concoction out of a big pot of soup. So as every incentive is stripped away, the carders on the ground, the party officials, on the other hand, have to ruthlessly whip up that workforce. They themselves are confronted to the possibility of being purged from the party. They must fulfill and overfulfill new sets of quotas, fingers, numbers, overfulfill the plan, produce more grain, more this, more that. And they themselves have to whip up that workforce. As that carrot is taken away, as all these incentives are gradually stripped, nothing but a stick remains. In some parts of the countryside, carders, the party officials, and farmers are so brutalized uh, that the scope of coercion has to be constantly expanded, creating a mounting spiral of violence in which ever greater means of coercion have to be used by carders to get famished people back into the fields to do some kind of work. So this is one big thing about this period, the extraordinary extent of the violence exercised by party people against ordinary people. About six to eight percent of people didn't die of hunger. They died because they were buried alive. They were summarily executed. They were tortured to death. That makes about two to three million people who died violently during this period alone, 58 to 62. 